Dan Larson here, and I'm at the photo booth trying to solve a problem. Nearly every day I check the Action Figures subreddit to see if there's any news or sightings of figures that are just hitting store shelves, or just just to generally see what people are talking about and interested in as far as toys and action figures are concerned. Uh, about a month ago, someone, and I apologize for not remembering the name, especially if you're watching this, uh, they asked a pretty common, innocuous question of the community. What is your favorite Marvel Legend in your collection currently? You know, Marvel Legends are popular. Most collectors have at least one, if not a handful or more. Uh, I'm constantly looking for the newest releases and speculating at what might be announced in the future. We're always making lists here of best and worst and most wanted. But yeah, I wanted to submit my answer to the question, but it occurred to me that I wasn't actually sure. <laughs> We're long past the point of there being only one or two quality figures, and so I had to, I had to think about it some more. Fast forward a month, and here I am, and it's... It's time to make a decision. I've narrowed the field of, I don't know, like a hundred or more figures, maybe something like that in my bins, uh, to this batch of 17. And I'm just gonna start narrowing, pulling. If you've seen any of my top 10 of the year so far, this is, this is how I do it. Just put everything in the booth and I start pulling stuff out uh, until I can get down to that. Uh, well, first of all, I gotta get this down to 10, but the, the goal here is not 10, the goal here is one. So that's gonna be even more of a challenge. And uh, you know, get it down to the last figure standing, and then I'm gonna go answer the person who made the post on Reddit a month ago. So, here we go. I'm gonna start eliminating them. I'm gonna start with... Uh, alright. I'm gonna... This might come as a shock, but I'm actually... I think I have to take out Pizza Spider-Man. I love Pizza... Look, here's the thing. Of all the Marvel Legends figures I have, we've done over 400 videos, and I think like 398 of them are Marvel Legends at this point. It's obviously, I like Marvel. I like Marvel Legends, so... If you made the top 17, it's a, you're a pretty awesome... I, I don't know why I'm softening the blow here for these figures that I'm about to eliminate. I, like, they feel bad about it, but I got, I'm pulling Spider-Man. That's it. There's no turning back here at this point. Um... Next is, it's tough with these guys in the back, the uh, War Machine corner over here, uh, because, I don't know, it's like I, if I take one out, whatever reason I have for taking one out, I might as well take out all three, because I like them for the same reason. They practically are the same figure, they're just different variations of the suit, so that's tough. Similar issue here with uh, Captain America. It's basically the same suit, it's almost the same mold. Uh, but this is, you know, this is the battle-damaged one that came in the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming 3-pack. Uh, excuse me, not Spider-Man Homecoming, Civil War 3-pack. With battle-damaged Iron Man and uh, the first uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man figure that was available when Civil War came out. So, uh, it, it's very similar to the strike Shield Strike Suit. Obviously, this isn't the Shield Strike Suit Shield, um, but uh, I prefer that one. I don't like the blue one. Um, and it's just a great suit, even though mine has uh, two right feet. Um, but, so, uh, I can probably eliminate one of those two. It's almost the same exact thing. I do like the, uh, the battle damage look on this one a bit more. I, I like the battle damage shield, even though it's a little large. Um, but I'm really looking for any reason to eliminate someone right now. So I'm going to take out Cap. And then, uh, of, uh, uh, this Ghost Rider's a little, it's a little unfair because this Ghost Rider, I like the figure without a bike, but I love him with a bike, and he didn't come with a bike. So, and that's actually, there's a couple figures here that I, I could very quickly just pull them out because this is not how they were issued. Uh, you know, my Punisher is, he's got the head from a previous Punisher figure, I don't remember exactly which one, I think it was the one that came with the trench coat. Um, during uh, Return of Marvel Legends, or just after that, before they switched over to the infinite uh, packaging. Um, he's got uh, that head, so neither of the two heads he was issued with. Uh, and then he's got the holster from uh, Nick Fury that uh, came out not too long ago. Uh, or no, I'm sorry, the... Uh, yeah, no, Nick Fury. Yeah, it's from Nick Fury. Um, so that's not how he was issued. So, you know, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and take him out right now. Although I, I really do like this figure right now. It's just that I've made some special modifications of my own. So, and he's also got the uh, bullseye gun finger, pointy finger. But uh, that, that gives me a reason to take him out. Uh, same with Ghost Rider. Love this figure. He's got a chain that he didn't come with. Uh, and he's riding the Toy Biz era uh, 
Ghost Rider bike, although it's not that far off. Uh, especially if I put the front skull shield thing back on here, which I just don't like that design. Um, if I put that back on, it looks almost like the one that's uh, about to be released here, uh, coming up probably next year. I don't know when those are supposed to hit the shelves, but they're putting out a Ghost Rider. Same figure, a bit more blue. He's got the thing on the front, but I'm going to take him out because I need to eliminate like 14 more figures here. Um, you know, and then so the next one, I, the next one that would be most obvious for those same reasons is Wolverine. I do like the figure as issued, and as issued, um, I good head, the, the good head sculpt, the the posability on it. I like the interchangeable hands. I like the removable claws. Uh, but once I saw the custom claws from Casting Cave and a custom head from uh, Toy Box Customs, uh, it took a good f a, what I thought was a great figure and made it even greater. Um, so while this is my easily one of my top three Marvel Legends in my collection right now. Uh, this is not how he was issued, so I'm going to pull him out. Um, and then I'm going to pull this Wolverine out because I already know that he's he's not going to be my top one, so there's no reason uh, to, to hang on to him in there any longer. Um, uh, let's see. Um, you know what? I'm going to pull... Uh, Red Skull here, Iron Skull. Uh, to, to, to find, go watch our video. If you haven't watched our review of this one, check out our, our review of this one, and you'll see how passionately I really do love this figure, just for its sheer fun funness as a toy. It's it's a really fantastic piece. I don't care for the Red Skull head. I love the helmeted head, uh, but this thing is just a fun action figure. But I'm gonna pull him, uh, and then I'm gonna pull. Uh, you know, this one, this Iron Patriot was one of those ones that I just. Didn't think we'd actually see a cool uh, suit design like this. And sometimes when you see a figure announced, you, you're like, well, that's an insta-buy for me. And that's how this was for me. I, I pre-ordered it online. It was, I think it was the first time I actually pre-ordered a figure online. Because uh, I could not take the thought of missing it for some reason. And uh, I had to make sure I got that one. And I was pretty excited. It could be more posable. It could be, well, who, who cares? It's, it's a really great figure. But he's, he's definitely not the top one. So he can come out. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, you know what? I'm I'm pretty sure this cap actually isn't number one either. I really like it a lot, and I've always been a huge cap fan. But I'm pretty sure I, I'm I'm getting pretty. I, I think I know at least who the top four are here now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull uh, Spider-Man 2099. Love this figure. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, I'm pretty distraught right now because uh, in pulling it out of the drawer and setting up these figures a little while ago here, uh, I realized that I don't know where his little uh, web cape is. I'm sure I still have it. It's got to be in one of my accessory bins, but. Uh, I don't know where it is. But again, this is like, you know, when, when you have a character who's a favorite of yours for a really long time, you don't ever ex expect it to actually get made. And then when it does get made, you don't actually expect it to be exactly what you want it to be. And I am still shocked that this piece is exactly what I wanted it to be. The chest symbol is right. The eyes on the skull, on his uh, mask are, are right. The fins, his hands. Um, Would have been nice if it came with interchangeable hands, just like... Uh, Every Spider-Man figure should. This, 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 this sort of metallic sheen of the suit, everything about this, uh, I just love it. Uh, the only thing that could have made it better is if it had come with a spider ham. But uh, I'm gonna pull him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the the war machines. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull those too. Uh, again, I, I like them all for the same exact reasons. So if I'm gonna pull one, I gotta pull all three. I might as well. There's there's none of these three that I, I like more than the other. So they're they're basically just one whole set. Um, this leaves us with new Ares, which I do prefer over the Build-A-Figure. Um, it, it, it took me forever to build that Build-A-Figure because it was so expensive for so long. And, and, you know, of course, I wasn't able to actually complete the Build-A-Figure until this one actually hit the stands. It was within, like, two weeks of each other that this hit. And then uh, I completed the Build-A-Figure because those prices had come way down. But uh, in terms of paint style, I just, the color treatments on this one, uh, I really like. The weapon is better, in my, in my opinion. I love the shininess of all the silver. And I actually do like the glowing... Uh, eyes. He's a god, and um, I, I don't mind him looking a little bit more demonic or evil, especially considering he was part of the Dark Avengers. Uh, but uh, he's not going to be my one here. There's no way he's beating Taskmaster <laughs> or Vulture, so I might as well pull him. And actually, you know what? Same thing goes for uh, uh, Marvel's uh, Darkhawk. Um, it, it, I, I don't even know what it is about this thing. I love the helmet. I love the, the color. Same with uh, you know Spider-Man 29. I, I love the the metallic sheen of everything. These wings, I do not like the engineering of the wings still. I mentioned that in our uh, review of that one. 
Um, but there's just something about this guy. He's got some charm. Uh, I, I haven't been able to <laughs> stop messing with him all year since I picked him up. Glad they put him out. Wasn't really looking forward to him at first. Picked him up, and clearly he's one of my favorites now. Um, down to these three. These three cats who all have uh, pretty much the magic formula for stuff I like uh, in action figures. You know, cool masks, flight suit, giant robo wings, laser sword, cool guns. You know, this space helmet. You know, he's got the rocketeer sort of jacket thing going on and the, the boots and just... It's like... These are, I don't even know what else to say. I love all three of these figures so much. Skull face, hood, just she, everything about it, armor. Um, but, uh, you know, as if we're eliminating things for not being as issued, I could pull out Star-Lord. Uh, you know, his uh, guns that he came with. I like the, the shape of these guns. Personally, I think they're a little oversized, and the lack of finish on them uh, is very disappointing. I, I really do like the way he looks with the uh, movie Star-Lord uh, blasters there. But, uh, man, this is just, I don't even know. I don't even know how to pick uh, over the, these three. And honestly, I can even say that you pull the Build-A-Finger wings off of uh, uh, Vulture there, and I still like that figure a lot, even without the wings. Um, I think he looks like an evil Hal Jordan. But we got we to gotta make a choice here, and I got to go with something. So right now, if I got to make a choice, uh, based on what you see here, um, I think Taskmaster, for right now, he would have won last year, but uh, for right now, now um, which is funny because Star-Lord was out last year too, but you know what, I just recently pulled this figure out of my bin again, uh, he, he, I had him on the back wall in the display for quite a while, um, and then uh, he got cycled out, and uh, I pulled him out again recently, and I was just like, you know what, I really, it is just one of my, clearly, one of my favorite figures, it's, uh, it's in my personal top whatever, Hall of Fame, all time. Um, and I don't even know how to choose between these two. Uh, I really, uh, for now, I guess, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to pick between these two. Uh, they're just so, there's, they're, all right, for now I'm gonna go with, uh, what am I gonna tell this guy? What am I gonna tell this guy on Reddit? Um, All right, it's Vulture. Now it's Star Lord. It's Star. I gotta go. I gotta stick with my. It's uh. It's uh. It's Star Lord. All right, it's Star Lord. There's no take backs until tomorrow when I decide to change my mind. Uh, but for now, I think uh, I think that <laughs> I think I'm comfortable with that call. Um, I really do like that Vulture, obviously, but uh, there's something about this Star-Lord. I love the helmet, I love the suit design. Uh, I didn't really even have any connection to him in the comics. I didn't read that uh, particular series. It's just that suit is is just uh, something special. This is the uh, Entertainment Earth uh, box set uh, version, not the uh, Thanos Imperative SDCC version. Anyway, I don't know, I don't know. This is gonna change before I even finish what I'm uh, the close of this video. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hit like, uh, hit subscribe if you aren't a subscriber. Thanks you, uh, thank you, excuse me, to those who are. Uh, let me know in the comments who your favorite is right now if you can. Uh, if you don't own any Marvel Legends, let me know if you ever came close to picking one up. Thanks, later.